peeps, huge, huge news today as Universal Orlando officially confirmed the five lands coming to their new Epic Universe Park opening in 2025. Now, we did know unofficially what these lands were going to be, So, but the really exciting part about today's announcement is that we got some awesome video footage, some concept art and 3D renderings, and just more specific info on what's coming to the new park. So if you are not familiar with Epic Universe, if you're one of the few people that's not familiar with Epic Universe, it is Universal's upcoming fourth theme park in Orlando, Florida. Um, so they currently have Universal Studios Orlando, Islands of Adventure. They consider Volcano Bay a theme park, even though it's really more of a water park. And Epic Universe will be their upcoming fourth park. Um, and when it opens, it will open with five themed lands, four based on IPs, one more of an original concept. And it also seems to be taking into account that people really like the more immersive experiences that we've seen out of theme parks lately, like Disney's Galaxy's Edge and Universal's own um, Harry Potter worlds or Harry Potter lands, Wizarding World of Harry Potters. Um, and so the park will really be more like five immersive lands when it opens rather than kind of um, generic themed areas with specific rides. So officially confirmed today is that the five lands that will be at opening of Epic Universe are the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, which will take place in 1920s Paris to the 1990s British Ministry. So it's a bit more of a, a time jump kind of thing um, and it will explore the international wizarding community and the magic that connects them in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Next up, and perhaps the second most exciting concept for me, is Super Nintendo World, which will feature a lot of what we already have in California in Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood, however, with some additional lands and rides. So what's coming to this Super Nintendo World will be rides like the Mario Kart ride, as well as a new Donkey Kong Country themed land and ride. Third, we have How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. In How to Train Your Dragon, it's going to be based on the popular franchise, a series of movies, a number of television series that will feature these awesome dragon-themed rides, and a colorful Viking village at the heart of Burke, which is kind of the main land of that franchise. Um, so there will be boat battles, Viking halls where you can have feasts, and a number of different themed rides. Obviously, the land I'm most looking forward to, Dark Universe which will feature um, experiments from Dr. Victoria Frankenstein, according to the press release, um, and a shadowy landscape where monsters roam. Um, dark Universe obviously is not based on the same Dark Universe property that Universal tried to launch with the Mummy, Univer Mummy movie with Tom Cruise years ago, but is more of an original concept featuring all the Universal monsters. Current rumors suggest that there will be uh, a ride that will have all of the Universal Monsters contained in it, as well as a roller coaster themed to the werewolf. Now, more details have been revealed about the central hub of Epic Universe, which will be known as Celestial Park. Um, Celestial Park will feature acres of rolling gardens, waterways, strolling pathways. It's really a very park-themed environment at the center of this giant theme park. Um, in Celestial Park, it's really kind of meant to inspire like a journey of discovery and thrills and excitement with living gardens, shimmering water surrounded by stunning architecture inspired by astronomical and mythological elements. So um, it's really kind of the heart of, of Epic Universe and will feature just tree-lined walkways, dancing fountains, and a number of very cool things, including Starfall Racers, which is... Uh, the first officially announced roller coaster for uh, Epic Universe, which will be a dual launch roller coaster that will hurdle you through the cosmos. Another ride announced for Celestial Park is going to be the Constellation Carousel, which is an indoor carousel where you can ride celestial lions, dragons, and bears as the constellations themselves take physical form in this kind of cool cosmic carousel theme. There's going to be a number of dining options, including Atlantic, 
which will be a restaurant across from the waters of the Neptune Pool in the middle of Celestial Park, um, where you can enjoy seafood and steak while giant illuminated fish gracefully circle around you. Now, concept art, pretty cool. I'm, I, I'm assuming it's a real aquarium and not a video aquarium, but regardless, looks like a very cool central hub restaurant. Additionally, you'll be able to enjoy Japanese, Chinese, and Thai cuisine at the Blue Dragon Pan-Asian Restaurant, which is also in Celestial Park, and it's kind of a neon streetscape-themed restaurant um, where Asian fare is served in a, like a bustling courtyard under the glow of this ethereal hanging lantern theme. Also announced for Celestial Park is the Nintendo Superstar Store, which will feature toys, apparel, and souvenirs themed to Super Nintendo World. So even though they have a Super Nintendo World, which will likely have its own shop, you'll also have a themed Nintendo shop right in the hub of Celestial Park. One of the coolest concepts surrounding Epic Universe, for me anyway, is that there will be an in-park hotel. The Universal Helios Grand Hotel is going to be located inside Epic Universe at the end of Celestial Park, and it's designed to transport guests to a world where the heavens and earth unite. It's going to have 500 rooms, one-of-a-kind views, um, and a decorated entrance themed the same way as the theme park. Now, Universal Helios Grand Hotel is scheduled to open in 2025. I you know, it hasn't been confirmed whether it's opening with the park or sometime after the park opens, but it says 2025. Now, opening in early 2025 are the Universal Stella Nova Resort, which is inspired by the vastness of the unknown universe. That opens on January 21st, 2025, and is a bit more of a um, value resort, similar to the more recent dockside kind of hotels. Similarly themed to the Stella Nova Resort, is its partner hotel, I guess, the Universal Terra Luna Resort, which is scheduled to open February 2025. So I am super, super excited about Epic Universe. I have been since the initial announcement. Obviously, concept art, when that announcement first came out, kind of already revealed what we could expect from the land. Um, and great videos on YouTube. Uh, certainly have shared more details and, um, you know, aerial photos from Bio Reconstruct. Also have really kind of shared the progress on the park. It looks absolutely incredible. The creative team announcement today with the, um, you know, kind of 3D renderings, the concept art, it just brings it more to life um, than I've ever seen before. And I'm super excited for it. Obviously, I'm excited for Dark Universe. I'm also excited for Celestial Park. And, um, you know, obviously an additional Harry Potter themed world. Super Nintendo World is probably, you know, going to be one of the ones I, I would love to hit first. And I'm sure a lot of you, I love Super Mario. I love Donkey Kong. I'm really excited about everything coming to this park. What do you all think? You know, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you are most looking forward to at Universal's Epic Adventure when it opens up in 2025. Let us know, you know, of the rumored attractions which one are you most looking forward to? Mine is probably going to be the um, Dark Universe monster-themed ride. I, I mean, obviously, you follow if you follow this channel, you know we love the Universal Monsters and we love all things horror. And this is kind of a cool year-round yet family-friendly horror environment. Sign us up. We will obviously be there. Hopefully, you will be too. While you're down there leaving a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you know when we release more content in the coming months. Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.